Welcome, family. Hey, royal priesthood, royal nation. We are married to Christ. Amen. Today is Mary Christ Day. Amen. Is Mary? We married to Christ every day for us. But for those who are coming into the fold, it's Mary Christ Day. The Bible says salvation is now. So Mary Christ, everybody. Mary Christ. Don't that make sense? Let's put it in perspective, right? All right. So we have a couple of things to cover today. Um, as I was preparing for this word, God is still dealing with us as the body, amen, as his children um, on forgiveness, on forgiveness. So we're going to be talking about forgiveness. Um, it's going to be like a, a whole 360 word. It's, it's not going to start out as forgiveness, but the, some of the roots of what I'm going to be covering um, is forgiveness, like the, the big root, whatever the case is, God is still rooting out forgiveness in his body. It's a lot of us are still dealing with unforgiveness. Amen. And, and, and that blocks our, our blessings. So God has some things that he want to say to us. Um, let me just pray before I go any further. Abba, we, we, we completely thank you. We honor you. We thank you for um, sending your only begotten son. You send yourself in, into earth. Um, you came in flesh flesh and you died for our sins. Father, we thank you so much. Um, we thank you for this beautiful day. Let, let, let us have the right perspective, touch our minds from the crowd of our head to the sole of our feet, Father God, and, um, uh, um, fill us up with your spirit, Father God, that we may have the right perspective, that we may be, be restored to you, that we may operate in the realm of the new in the mighty name of Jesus. That just simply means that we were once with you, Father, and then on this earth, we got lost. You get what I'm saying? We had to connect ourselves back to you, Father God. So let that become, let us getting back to you that all things um, become new. For those who've never um, been with you since they've been on this earth, Father God, I decree and declare, Father God, that um, they will connect with you obtain salvation so that all things will be new and restored unto them in the mighty name of Jesus. And for those who are already saved, Father God, for those who are not walking in the spirit of truth, that they've turned their back to their connection, God, or they may have um, um, partially connected themselves to you. I pray that you touch us and bless us, God. Let you, you from the beginning was our ultimate gift. And Lord, on this day that many people are celebrating, Father God, I pray that you give us this gift, Father God, that we will be restored unto you, that all things become new, hallelujah, new in our body, glory to God, new, whatever we need in our body, whatever we need in our life, things will become restored and new. It just sim simply means that heaven, it, we were experiencing heaven, um, this in earth, I mean, I'm sorry, heaven, this, um, in heaven, uh, um, the, the, the blessings and, and just the heavenly realm will, uh, meet us on the earth that all things will be new, new mind, hallelujah, new body, new me, new personality, new confidence, glory to God, new newness, newness, hallelujah, new perception. So father, we just thank you so much for you being the greatest gift. Father God, you being the, uh, the ultimate sacrifice and gift that we could ever receive that we have in this lifetime. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. All right. So, um, so as you see in the title, the, the name of this video, um, I'm sorry, the name of this service, the title of the service is Sunday, 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 worst Sunday service is Mary Christ, um, Royal priesthood, uh, Royal priest nation. Um, what is it? Obedient nation and forgiveness. Amen. So th these are the things that we're going to be covering. Um, it's, I promise you guys, it's, it's all going to make sense. All right. So um, before we get started, I uh, want us to listen to um, this song. It's called The Name of Jesus. It's by Sanch. I don't know if I'm pronouncing her name right. I do not copyright this song. The artist uh, of this song is named Snatch. Snatch. Sanch. Um, and it's called the name of Jesus. So let us watch half of that and I'm gonna get to the word and then I'm gonna end it with the rest of the, the video. Amen. Tell somebody the name of Jesus is higher than cancer is higher than heartbreak is higher than any disease. Just speak in tongues if you know how to speak in tongues. Get ready to be blessed. 
priesthood we are a royal nation we are obedient nation hallelujah we are obedient to our abba we are one with our abba we rule hallelujah we have dominion authority glory to god we are above hallelujah because of who we belong to because of who we are hallelujah glory to god we are his, we're his children we are him we're one Every other God is deader than dead. But Jesus died so that we could rose again. We lift them high. Hallelujah. We lift them high. We lift them high. Glory to God. All right. So let's get into the word. Again, God is speaking to us. He's still talking about forgiveness. He's talking about, he, he, this the thing y'all. He's addressing the root of the, the problems uh, the, the root of, of, of our issues that we, we were facing that we're dealing with. Right. And he's trying to get us to understand who we are. He's trying to get us to understand um, what he's doing. He wanted to get us back on track. Amen. So again, um, the title of this message is Mary Christ. We're married to Christ. We're a royal priesthood. We're a royal nation. We're an obedient nation and it's addressing forgiveness. Amen. So today we'll be out of Matthew's chapter uh, six verse 22 through 23. Again, that's Matthew's chapter six, verse 22 through 23. Amen. And it reads the lamp of the body is the eye. If therefore your eye is good, your whole body will be full of light. But if your light is bad, your whole body will be full of darkness. If therefore the light that is in you is darkness, how great is that darkness? All right. I'm going to try my best to break down what God is saying to us and deliver this word, deliver this message in such a royal way <laughs> that you guys will be forever blessed. Amen. All right. So the lamp of the body is the eye. So a lamp, uh, uh, the body of the person is the, is the lamp. It's, it's the source. 
Amen. The body said, I mean, the Bible says the lamp of the body is the eye. So what is the eye? The eye is the perception. Our eye is our perception. The eye, if you think about the eye, the eye depict, uh, depict, um, it depict the very thing that we see. It basically, um, tells us what we see or it, it depict what we see and it perceive whatever information based of the source that we're, we're operating in, in our spirit. Amen. So the lamp of the body is the eye, the lamp of the body, the source of the body, the spirit of, uh, of, of us, right? The spirit of a man, the spirit of a body is the eye perception. So we're talking about perception here. If therefore your eye is good. All right. So perception, Therefore, if your eye is good, good, therefore your eye is good. So how do we, how, how do we get, come to that conclusion of, of what our perception is? It comes from a source. I mean, where is our perception operating from? It's coming from a source. If therefore the eye is good. Okay. What source are you operating out of? All right. I want y'all to think about unforgiveness. I want you to think about anything that you struggle with. Amen. The root of it. Where, why are we struggling with it? What, what source is we perceiving it from? Amen. Is it, is it, is it, is it the end of the verse sex? Uh, is it the end of the verse 22? Your whole body be filled of light. It says, if therefore your eye is good, your whole body will be filled of life. I mean, I'm sorry, of light. So if our body is full with light and our perception, if it's good, right? then we wouldn't have any issues, right? So for the simple fact that we have an issues, that we have unforgiveness, that we have we have issues in our body, and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna address that a little more. But the reason why we have these issues is because our perception is not right. This is what the Bible is telling us that our we're not connected to the main source. Hallelujah. We're not on a prayer line. <laughs> we're, not, we're not connected to the source that we need to we our source is wrong. Therefore it's gonna feed us our perception. Amen. So I want y'all to understand that and visualize that, that the lamp of the body is the eye. If therefore the eye is good, your whole body will be filled of light. But if the eye is bad, the source, which feed our perception, if it's bad, then it says your whole body will be full of darkness. And that's where the sickness accumulate in our body. It, we, people don't know, but due to unforgiveness, you can accumulate by um, um, disease. Amen. You could accumulate sickness. Amen. Um, you could accumulate um, through stress and different things because our body is being tainted or is dark. You get what I'm saying? The Bible says in verse 23, but if your eye is bad, your body will be filled of darkness. What does, excuse me, what does darkness produce? Sickness, it, death, it, it, it destroys, it, it, it deteriorates. It is all downhill when we're dealing with darkness, it's all negative aspect aspects um, of life or, 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 or things. Um, it's negative. Amen. The continuing of that verse 23, it says, if therefore the light is, I'm sorry, if therefore the light that is in you is darkness, the Bible is asking, Jesus is asking, this is all in, in red letters. It says, how great is that darkness? How great is that darkness? If it's possible, which it, which in many cases, because a lot of people on here is condemned. You get them saying they they think they're doomed. They they think there's no hope. They think all hope is lost. They think the the sin that they committed was the greatest sin. Amen. So just to address that, the Bible says if it's possible, then it's possible. And how do you know if it's possible? Amen. How do you know if it's possible? The source. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The source. Is it, is it, is it, is it demonic? I'm talking about the source. Is it, is it not demonic? The demonic is, is an aspect. It's, it's like, um, it's an influence. That's that it's demonic, but I'm talking about, is it, is it completely like, if it's not completely from the hell round, 
Amen. If it's not completely from the hell, hell realm, then it's possible. If you just the person that, um, help me Holy Ghost. If you're just the person that, you know, you just probably never had hope or you just probably live a life of just violence or whatever the case is. And you just, you do, you don't know who God is or you, you, you don't feel like you belong. Right. But are you thinking along these things? Are you even thinking about, you know, these things? Are you thinking or do you have a conscious of thinking of these things? That's how you know if it's possible. Because for somebody, not somebody, that would just be a straight up demon and it's just from the demonic world, the the not demonic, the, the hell realm, right? If you're dealing with a full on demon, right? If it's not possible, right? For, for, for the situation that's completely not converted, I would say converted and just is, right? If you're dealing with a situation like that, then they wouldn't even have these thoughts. They, it wouldn't even be possible for them to think on the thoughts that you've thought on. Like, like, I would never get right. They, you know, there's no hope for me. Um, or, um, this is, I'm only addressing this, this group, but this is overall for more for all of us. Right. But for those who think like, I can never be saved or God can never forgive or deal with a person like me for the simple fact that you even think on that is possible. Do you get what I'm saying? Because if it was not possible, if it were not possible, you would never even think like that. You would just be, it would just be what it is. Just completely dark. Not, it wouldn't be addressed in verse 23 saying, but if your eye is bad, your whole body will be full of darkness, right? It, your whole body will be full of darkness, right? But it says, if therefore the light that is in you is darkness. You get it? Because it's still light. How great is that darkness? So that lets you know it's different groups and different categories. If you really perceiving this correctly, or if you really understanding what I'm saying, if I'm really breaking this down and feeding you properly, royally, right? Um, there's hope. Jesus is our hope. He is the way, truth, and life. Amen. Um, so going back to the points of this text. Number one, this brings us that, you know, it's bringing up light. The lamp of the body is the eye. If therefore your eye is good, your whole body is full of light. So it's, it's, it's depicting light. And then it, it, it talks about our eyes. So I should be first, honestly. Um, but I put light first because it's the source. Amen. Because it says the lamp of the body. Amen. It's the, it's the source. It says um, is the light. I mean, is the um, eye. If therefore your eye is good. Um, so it's the source which feeds your eye. The, what is the source if you think about the body? It's the spirit, right? It's the heart. It's the main organs, the main, the main things, your brain, um, spirit is what's keeping us alive, right? Let's look at somebody or, you know, let's look at, you know, um, a situation where somebody is on life support, right? All right. They, 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 they're, they're dead, right? But what's keeping them alive is the, the oxygen, the, the, the air, right? which caused them to not complete, like, you know, it's keeping them alive, right? That's what they say. And if you think about this in the spiritual sense, in the, in the physical sense, that in Genesis, when mankind, when God made man, he breathed into our nostrils. That's where they get that from. And they cover, if you think about it, they cover uh, with a, our face, they cover the face of a person that is on life. Um, what is it? Life support. Is it life support? I think it's life, life support. But they, they cover it with the, the oxygen mask, right? And it's keeping that person alive. And then once that's out, you know, if, if God done with that person, then they're completely gone, right? So what keep, what what's keeping us alive, what keep, what causes us to be alive is the spirit that's in us, right? The the breath that God breathed into mankind, right? The spirit. 
Then we got, this is all from God, right? Then we got body parts. We have an organ. We got organs, important organs. Our, our brain, right, that cause us to, because we could live without our brain. Our brain is what causes us to function and understand, grow, and all of that. Amen? So spiritually, can we really live? Because anything that's not grown is dead. Amen? It's either asleep or dead. So in a sense, it's dead. Um, but our spirit and our heart, right, calls for things to function and for us to function. Oh, okay, so our heart and our mind cause us to function, right? But our, the, the breath is what caused man to live. So just think if our heart and our mind didn't function, we would still be alive. We'll just be like this. But we'll, lie. we'll be alive. We'll exist. Amen? We'll just be like this. But because we have a heart, it pumps throughout our body that we can move. And, you know, and then our mind, which um, gains us c control, motor skills, you know what I mean? And perception and, and all of that. Amen? So... It's addressing light, which is uh, God in us. You get him saying his spirit in us. Amen. The, the, the spirit that's in us. And then uh, two, I for perception. And number three, our focus. So this is the whole point of this word. So the, the in root of everything of this word um, and what everything ties back down to is our focus. What are we focusing on? Think about that. We're dealing with the issues in our life, right? We have um, people that's on the, on the verge of divorce. They have probably got a divorce. Or you think about a couple that is fighting amongst each other. It could be financial issues. It can be health issues. It could be whatever, just something, unforgiveness, whatever it may be, right? You, you could think about a person that their health is failing, right? You can think about um, a person that just lost their job and they don't know how they're going to pay their bills. And these are people I'm talking about. I'm dressing the body of believers. I'm talking about um, my brothers and sisters in Christ. I'm talking about God's children and and um, future children. Well, God's children for those who are already in him and those who are coming into him. Amen. The Bible says that all things work together for those who love God, those who are already in him and called according to his purpose. So those who are coming into the fold, amen. So, um, um, this is who I'm talking to, right? This is who God is talking to. God is talking to us strategically us and the end result of everything is our focus. God want us to gain our focus back. He want us to understand that our focus is not on him. Therefore, our eye is not good because our focus is not on him. When our focus in, on, is on him, no matter what we're going through, we're, we're arguing with that with our significant other in our marriage. We divorce or we're thinking about divorcing or I just lost my job. I don't know how I'm going to pay my bills or my health is failing. When we're going through trials and even when we're not, where is our focus? Our focus should be on him. The Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness, that all things may be added to us. Where is our focus? Are we not dealing with any of those things, right? But we holding on to unforgiveness, right? It's still some people that, we either know of that we like, hmm, I ain't forgiving him. God, get him. You heard, you heard what, what that video that I post last, it was a, what was it? It was that, uh, my encounter testimony and the hell testimony thing. Watch that video. If you have not seen that, watch that one. And also watch the, uh, 21 Savage, um, video. Those are the last two videos that I, I posted recently. Um, I don't think it's the last two on YouTube or YouTube. I don't think it's the last two, but it's like, in the last group of, of videos that I posted. So it's the hell, um, testimony is together. It's one title It's my encounter with God and his hell testimony and dreams. That's one video. Watch that. The man, 
uh, encountered hell. God caused this man to encounter hell when he thought he was saved. He thought he was good. He did a lot of good stuff. He was a churchgoer, all of that. He did everything good, but he was holding unforgiveness and he wanted God to re retaliate. He believed he misconstrued the scriptures or, you know, like some of us do. I've done that in the past. He misconstrued the, the scripture and he, you know, he was um, looking for God to pay him back. Like, you know, because they done him wrong. But that's not what the Bible says. The Bible says, forgive your brother, forgive, love others as God loved us. Serve God with all of our heart, soul, and mind. You get him saying, be obedient, become, be, be of him. Like, um, take on his nature. That's what the Bible says. So go back and watch that video and also watch the, uh, the 21, uh, savage, um, thing that I, that I, that I shared the video that I've shared about the 21 savage and i forgot what else i put in the title but that's the only video that i that i have that says that so it's about the the rapper 21 savage and it's just god is really using me y'all and god is really speaking y'all have to follow 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 this this um this 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 um flow you know what i mean the things that god is causing me to release and, and, and let this, these, these things minister to you because God is speaking. He's preparing. He's speaking. He's blessing. He's, he's, pre he's preparing. He's molding. Amen. So, um, what is the root of, 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 of what we go through? If you think about it, you know what I mean? Um, what am I saying? The focus, amen, the focus. So our focus is not on him when we still dealing with unforgiveness. We may not be dealing with none of the things that I talked about as far as um, um, struggling with our, with our with fi with finances. You might, that might not be an issue. You might not be married or you might not have any issues in your marriage or your health may not, your health may, may not be failing, but you may be struggling with unforgiveness still. You might not even know it. Some cases, some cases we do know it. Some cases we don't. And we just basically, it's, been, it's back there in the past. You know, we, 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 we forgot it. And so as we work on our relationship with God every single day, right? We, we should have a um, active, strong prayer life, right? When we come to God and we submit ourselves to God, the Bible says, love God with your whole heart, your whole mind, and your whole soul. Serve him, right? When we come to him, it's a, rela it's, it's a relational, by the speaking tongues, blah, blah, blah. But it's a relational thing. So when we're bringing ourselves to God, we're allowing God, you get him saying, to do whatever he needs to do with us, to cause us to see whatever it is, to remove whatever he needs to remove. Remember the scripture that I mentioned earlier that, that um, everything that's not bearing fruit, God will cut, cut it off of us. But he's not just going to do that just because we're saved and we're his children. This is when we're in a relationship and covenant and agreement and in one with him. When we're one with him, he's able to do that because we're in position. Amen. He's able to cl clean us up. He's able to love on us. Amen. We, we're able to receive whatever it is that we need to receive from him spiritually, financially, health wise, whatever it is that God is trying to get to us that, that we were meant to have. We were meant to pos pos uh, possess. Amen. And our nature, um, um, this is how we take on our, our Abba, our father's nature by becoming one with him, being at his feet, praying, praying without ceasing, being focused on him. Amen. Thank you. Holy ghost being focused on him. Where is our focus? Who do we serve? The source. Who do we serve? That's important. The person, the, 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 um, the, um, the, I'm trying to find the word to say, I know what I'm trying to say. The being the God that we should be serving should be God, our creator. Put it in perspective. Our source should be, our foundation should be, our spirit should be of God. We need that first. If we don't have that, then you could just erase this message. If this message is not going to lead you to that, 
or if you don't have that, you don't want that, you don't, you're never going to get that, then this message is not for you. We got to have our source, the right source on the inside of us, which is God's spirit. Everybody has his spirit. He breathed breath into mankind. But when we get salvation, we're connected back to the source. It's a spiritual awakening. It's just a spiritual, spiritual birth. All things become new. We're a new cre creature and a new cr uh, creation. All old things must pass away. Our focus, our eyes should be fixed on our Abba. On life. The living water on health, our king. It should be focused on our king and, and, and with our focus on our king, we get those benefits. He, he, he provides us those resources. We get those sources because we're focused on the main source, the supreme Elohim, alpha and the omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last, amen? King of all, king above kings, Lord of lords. Our focus, our eyes is on the prize. Amen. I hope y'all really receiving this. So understand that we're struggling with these issues simply because of our focus is not in the right place. For those who are saved, for those who are not, it's because you're not saved. Once you get saved, you got to focus on him in every aspect, everything that you go through, good or bad. You cannot struggle with anything. Still focus on him. There's so many things in this world, especially social media, our phones. Um, I mean, that's where most of the action is at is, is on social media. It's, it's on platforms. They got all of these things to call, capture, uh, cap, capture our attention and to take our focus. That's why disease is running rapid, rampant. That's why suicide, um, violence, um, all this crazy stuff going on. Depression is high. You cannot get depressed. You can't be suicidal. You can't be in the realm of violence. You can't be in the realm of sickness if your focus is, is there. There. Amen. I don't think that's possible. It's not possible. Even if, even if the enemy, God allowed the enemy to attack your health, right? Which God allowed the enemy to attack my health, right? Guess what? I struggled. I struggled. But my main focus was, was on what? My eyes was on the prize. And guess what? That sickness fell up off me. It was something that I just went through. Amen? Because I had my focus. I know where my help come from. I tapped into my sources and my resources. So we can't be in these things that's beneath us if we're focused. We can experience some things. We can go through some things. But guess what? We're above. We're the head. We're the lenders. We're blessed in every aspect. We are the royal priesthood, the royal nation, the obedient nation unto God. Hallelujah. We are love. We are forgiveness. We are grace. We're mercy. This is who we are. That's my time. Let us watch this, uh, the rest of this song um, and let the song close us out. I hope you guys um, I don't hope I don't want to even talk like that. Be blessed. Continue to be blessed. Let this bless you and continue to be blessed. But we are above Ain't no hope and no wish. I pray. No, we be blessed. In the name of Jesus.
name, every knee shall bow. In your name. 